Philip Yancey tells a story about Pasolini, who was a filmmaker. And uh, Pasolini was an atheist, he was a Marxist, and he was a homosexual. I mean, about as far away from a relationship with God or with Jesus that you can get. Yet, in the day that he was alive, he was in downtown Rome, staying at a hotel, and he became trapped at his hotel as a long prayed for Pope John went by. That was the Pope in that day. This long prayed went by, and because of the police barricades, Pasolini could not get out of his hotel room. And so he goes back up into his room. There was no TV for, them, for him to watch. He didn't bring anything to read. And so he's rummaging around for something to, uh, to read. And he finds in one of the nightstands in his hotel an Italian Gideon Bible in that dresser drawer. And he opens it up and he starts reading the very first book of the New Testament, the book of Matthew, as he's never read it before and he becomes riveted with what it says and for five hours he goes through the entire book of Matthew and finds Jesus finds the Jesus that quote nobody ever told him about this Jesus was powerful and he was passionate and he was physical and he was engaged with people and he was shocking and he was alarming. He pushed people's buttons. This Jesus who at a moment's notice people would leave what they were doing as the author Matthew did left his tax collector status and would follow this Jesus. He was, he was magnetic to, to people. And Pasolini, of all people on earth to do this, ended up making an Italian movie called The Gospel of St. Matthew that many scholars would say up to that time was the most accurate movie about Jesus that was ever made. But it gets better because at the beginning of the movie, he has a dedication. And what it says is, on the screen it says, dedicated to Pope John, whose traffic jam allow me to meet the real Jesus. That's cool. That's cool. I hope you are here today to meet the real Jesus. 